Well, we're talking about Ubisoft again because they're having a bad week. I did a video talking about them yesterday. Talked about Star Wars Outlaws because they released a 10-minute or so gameplay preview, which didn't impress anybody. It looks like a half-baked game, as people in the comments were pointing out. Timestamps to some things people thought were funny. There was... Some really bad frame rate drops in the trailer and some things. A- IGN had to make a post to tell people to put the <laughs> the video in higher resolution. It is pretty funny to watch. That game's gonna be that game's gonna be interesting when it comes out. I bet you it's gonna be a buggy mess. Maybe it won't be, but it really does feel like when you buy a game on release date anymore, especially if it's a big AAA game. Doesn't it feel like we're kind of beta testers now? Like you basically pay 60, 70 bucks to be a beta tester. None of these games come out very well polished. Like they're not very polished when they come out. I mean, can't you pay people to do this so that we don't have to pay for it? It's just like they don't care. It comes off as disrespectful to the customer to me. But as you can see, their stocks are also not doing very well. 12% drop. John Trent article here, very well done. Uh, he has a picture here showing a nice little drop. You can see it right there, but that's going back five days. He has five years in here. I think that's a typo. If you go back five days, as you can see right here, it goes down 12, 42%. Oh, I see what he's he's saying if you... Change it to five years, it's a 74% drop. Yeah, a lot of these companies aren't doing very well. So, what are some reason, reasons for this? Well, Star Wars and, of course, Assassin's Creed Shadows has got a lot of scrutiny right now. They are no longer in, ignoring the Japanese backlash, which there is a lot of. Japanese people are pissed. I saw a video of... It was in so it was in a, in a store. I don't know what kind of store it was, but obviously it was a store that carries video games. Maybe it was a video game focused store. I I'm not sure. But <laughs> while I'm talking about it, what made it funny is basically there was a kiosk, a video game kiosk, and they had a TV, basically just playing this Yasuke diss track over and over again on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a viral song making fun of him. And uh, I guess it's a quite the hit over there. But Japanese players are pissed. I've talked about this quite a bit. They're not happy about the game. They're not happy about the way their history is being treated. They're not happy about uh, the errors in the game. They're, they've been busted using Mandarin. Uh, some of the buildings have Chinese-styled architecture in them. It's obvious that they didn't do a very good job of making sure that this game was authentic to just history in general. And they're apologizing for that. So, kind of. It doesn't really come off as a genuine apology to me. But really, how I feel about it doesn't matter. It's how the Japanese people feel about it. How do they feel? And... It'll be interesting. I I don't think it's going to work. Here's the apology right here. So it first popped up on Ubisoft Japan. Uh, They reposted this one. This is from the regular Assassin's Creed account. The Assassin's Creed Shadows team has a message for our Japanese players. And I'm not going to read through all this. I'm just going to go through it so you can see. Uh, But basically, they're like, you know, Assassin's Creed has never been fully 100% accurate in its history and stuff. And they apologize for messing up some of the setting. And here's the third part. And here is the next part. And that's their apology. How will that be received by Japanese people? That is the real question that I have. Uh, We can take a look at some of the comments on this post and see what they're saying. 
Uh, thanks to your company, I was able to become aware of the historical changes made by the forces of globalization against Japan. Thank you very much. Here's another one. He seems to be apologizing, but he doesn't say anything. And this is true. And, that, and that's why I said kind of an apology, because they really don't apologize. They apologize. Kind of like we're sorry for getting some things wrong. But it, it almost comes off as a non-apology. And now it seems like that's what they're saying here. Here's another comment right here. I think the story about Yusuke should be should just be considered fiction based on Yusuke. The issue of historical retelling is no longer a UBI issue, but a Lockley issue. However, Yusuke is no longer the problem. The plagiarism of materials from manga organizations and cultural heritage sites, the misinterpretation of Japanese history, and the misinterpretation of Japanese as Chinese, among other things, show disregard for Japan. The problem is these. And there's a bunch of stuff here this one so it's more trying to be faithful to the war aspect of japan at that period death was a common thing and decapitation was not a strange sight in japan that's true uh from what i understand uh they could just take they would just take your head all the time like if you especially if you disrespected a samurai or something i i'm not sure but uh head choppings were weren't a uh a rare thing back then it's very strict Strict set of rules. I, I'm sure some Japanese people will probably watch this video and comment. I, I will be very interested in hearing what they have to say. Uh, I'm not a Japanese historian. I know, like, surface-level stuff that I think is cool. I would love to learn more someday when I have some time. I would like to ask that the third image, an example of creative expression be clearly written as an example of fiction. Japanese people are tolerant of fiction that deals with historical figures, but are not but are intolerant of anything that is not described as fiction. Please do not underestimate the Japanese people. Let's check one more randomly. Here's one. What happened to the rifle squad flag? That's so sloppy. Yeah, they have stolen a lot of stuff. So interesting. Here's another interesting thing. So a lot of the outlets are quoting this dude who is apparently a Japanese historian. And he came out and said, there's no doubt in my mind that Yusuke was a samurai. Was he, though? Turns out he has ties to the Communist Party in Japan. I didn't even know there was a Communist Party in Japan, but there is one. And... He's got ties to it. A communist endorsing fake bullshit. Where have I seen that before? So I thought this was kind of funny. Now, I want to point out he is a former member of the Japanese Communist Party, as, as quoted here from this Park Place article. Uh, but I'm sure he still has the ideals close to his heart. I thought this was really interesting. So, there you go. Fun times in video games, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.